What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today we'll be exploring a fair bit on what is quick chart and how we can integrate quick chart in AppSheet. So today's example we'll be doing uh, a ray, something called radar chart and let's check it out. All right guys. So as you can see on my screen we have a very simple uh, data set. So I have unique ID, name, age, skill, writing, reading, and presentation. So let's create an app real quick. So I'll just go to extension here, app sheet, and create an app. So this is one easiest way to do an app from spreadsheet. So, yep, your chart app is ready. So now let's do some settings. So for skill, I'll just create a show and make it as a section header here. Put skills. All right, now let's change all this to number. So for each of this, I'm just going to do a quick edit and make it as range. The maximum value is 10, minimum value is 0, initial value is 0. I'll do the same for the rest. Range 10, 0, initial value is 0. Then goes to presentation, range, maximum is 10, minimum is 0, initial is 0. Okay, so now we have all this ready. Let's just do a quick save here. So next, to do a radar chart, what we can do is we can go to a website called Quick Chart. So it's uh, quickchart.io. So you can see all this information here. So now let's go to Chart Maker. Right on top here in the menu. Uh, let's say we want a radar chart. Let's type here in the Chart Assistant. And instantly you can see a, a template that has been created, a generic one. So for labels, I'm just going to go with the, the ones that uh, I want, which is writing, reading, and presentation. So let's write writing, reading, presentation. So label for data set, I'll just rename it to skills. Radar and cost for data, I'll just put some simple ones. Let's put 1098 for now. All right, so color field, yes. Oops. Okay, that mine's fine. Then data labels, we must show. So the label is the one we can see here. Uh, let's change the font size to say 18. So you can see it bigger. But don't worry about the how it looks for now because we will tie it to the data in app sheet. So let's say once you're satisfied, you will see a save as API template over here. So you click it and you will see some URLs for this particular chart. And what we want to do right now is to go with the one saying that you can join multiple overrides by using N. So copy the whole thing. Let's copy this real quick. 
So back in app sheet, let's add a virtual column here. And I'm just going to name it as radar chart. And, and the app formula is where we put the URL that we copied earlier. <clears throat> so this is the interesting part. So I'll just put a, uh, what I call it, the, well, what was the word for this? Um, quote. And the labels that you see, which is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, rename it to the ones that we want to use, which is writing, reading, and presentation. So let's rename it to writing, comma, reading, comma, presentation. All right. So you will see right after that is N, data one. So this part, we want to make it uh, sort of dynamic. So let's put the N here and the word list with a bracket. Um, I'm just going to put another comma here. Uh, sorry, a uh, quote here. And inside is where we want to put the columns of the three writing, reading, and presentation. So let's put it right now. Writing, reading, presentation. So once that is been satisfied, oh, sorry, we need to put a quote. I think it's here. There you go. So there must be a quote in front of N and another quote at the back. And of course, this quote is for the opening of your formula. So once you have this in, in motion, or oh, before that, let's change the title. So you can see by default, it will give you an interesting chart. So I'm just going to rename it here as say persona. All right. So don't worry. Uh, after a few exercises, you'll get used to the structure. But once you have something that looks like this, we just save it for now. And make sure you change the type to image. All right. So let's click done and save. So what's going to happen is when I add a new input, Let's say I put my name here. H, oops, gotta put it out. 32. <clears throat> so you can see the slider here is because that we have set all this number and range. So you will see the sliders like this. So what you realize is when I put writing as four, can see here immediately the writing is four. So let's put reading as say nine or eight. There you go. Read it, writing is four, reading is eight. And presentation, let's say it's quite good. Let's put nine. So this is the the dynamic data that I mentioned. So whenever you make your changes in your data, the chart will follow accordingly. And let's click save. Let's make it slightly more interesting. Um, let's say we use a card. So card. Let's change this real quick. Name. H. And the rest will be empty for now. Mm-hmm. 
and click save. <coughs> so in the app, whenever you see, or you will see something like this. So you can see the, the radar chart that we have created through quick charts. And of course, one of the benefits of uh, this sort of chart is you can actually add this in your PDF. Let's do a quick one. Let's create one robot real quick. New update, fine. And the step is to create a PDF. Changes to create a new file. And let's create a template here. It's going to take a while. All right. So let's save this real quick. Now I would assume this would be in um, charts here. Okay, there's no files yet, so let's make an update. So in AppSheet, whenever I make an update, uh, let's say, oops. Mm -hmm. So on click would be I go to details, save. So if I click here, if I make an update, save. Let's wait for the file to be created. It's going to take a while, I guess. There you go. So the PDF has been created. Double click real quick and have a look. So one of the benefits of quick charts is you can actually add those charts in your PDF report as well. So this is something that you can spice and things up in your PDF reports. And that's all to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't worry, this is not going to be the last uh, tutorial regarding quick charts. I'll be doing more the tutorials on it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.